Hey, Clara. Long time no see. By the way, did you happen to send me an invitation? Huh? One invitation? I'm not following. Well, we just got an invitation in the mail. It's for your wedding. Did you accidentally send it to our address? Oh, that invitation. No, it wasn't a mistake. I meant to send it to you guys. You are my sister after all. It would be weird not to invite you. Are you seriously trying to convince me that it would be weird if you didn't invite me to your wedding after everything that's happened between us? Really? Come on, sis. Don't be like that. Let bygones be bygones. Come on. Let bygones be bygones. You haven't invited us to any family gathering in years. Just because my husband and I didn't go to university. That was our choice. And we're not ashamed of it. But you and your fiance treated us horribly. So why would you suddenly invite us to your wedding? And why would you expect us to attend? Helena, please don't be like that. You are starting to scare me. Look, we decided to invite you because we reflected in your past actions and felt genuinely sorry. We realized we were in the wrong. I'm truly sorry for all the rude things I said to you back then. I wasn't myself. What's gotten into you? You're really starting to scare me. I did everything I could to make you stop treating me so badly. But you never did. And now you're telling me you feel bad about it? Did something crazy happen to you too? It's not something crazy. Planning for the wedding has been quite a journey. It's been way more hectic than we anticipated. But Throughout this process, we've become motivated to show our gratitude to everyone who has supported us. And I realized that you were one of the people I should be grateful to. Uh, really? Yeah, really. Remember when we were little kids? You were the sweetest person. Whenever I cried, you would run to find our parents. And whenever I felt down about not being athletic, you would cheer me up. Those memories stuck with me. I do remember those times, but that was when we were still close to each other. Those memories helped me realize how important you were to me. But I was foolish enough to let my ego get in the way and make fun of you for not going to the college. Even though that doesn't matter at all about a person. I mean, you two just go to the show that it doesn't matter whether a person goes to college with their business together. A small web shop is still a huge accomplishment and I mean it. Look, you're really, really scaring me here. What has gotten into you? Have you really changed? Yes, and I'm sorry for everything I've done up until now. I know I'm asking for a law right now, but I really do regret everything I've done to you. Charles, this is an emergency. Apparently, Clara is a whole new person all of a sudden, and she wants us to attend her wedding together. Oh, so the invitation was legit? Wow, I thought she sent a fake invitation or something to us. I wouldn't be surprised if the time, place, and date were all different from the actual thing. I fully agree, and that's why I'm so surprised. She apologized for everything that's happened until now, including all of the things she said to us. And she said she would be glad if the two of us showed up to the wedding. That's amazing. I mean, if she's insisting on it, then why not? We should send an RSVP right away. Wait, you agree on coming? I'm glad Clara finally feels different about all the things she said to us. But that doesn't change the past. And the fact is, she said those things and she's done those things. We can't just act like none of that ever happened, right? I mean, 
If this is about me, then yes, I can act like nothing ever happened. Because I'm really happy that you're finally starting to get along with your sister again. That's way more important than holding a grudge for what happened in the past. Charles. But I also totally understand if you have mixed feelings about the whole thing. Because, I mean, she was really persistent about making us feel like fools for not going to college. Like the way she'd tell us that she wishes our business would go bankrupt every time we saw her. And the way she would make fun of us whenever business would get slow. Yeah, and it wouldn't hurt just me. It hurt both of us. But it's still a once in a lifetime type of chance to finally get along with her again. And I feel like that's something worth putting the past behind for. Only good things come from being close and friendly with your siblings, you know? So really, don't mind me and make the most out of this chance. You're right. Nothing good comes of me putting my ego first right now. Regardless of everything, I'd still be glad if I could become close with my sister again. I guess it's official then. I'll let her know that we're coming. Great. I'll go make sure my schedule is open for that day. You just got a huge order a while ago too. Hopefully nothing comes up where we have to turn down one or the other. That's true. Business has been busy lately, thankfully. All right, let's work hard now so we can go to that wedding without any other worries. Right on. Plus, we're gonna need some money for a nice present for them too. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Hey, Clara. Sorry for bothering you right before the wedding. We noticed that there weren't enough seats for the two of us. Could you redirect us to someone who could show us where our table is? We tried asking the staff close by, but they wouldn't do anything about it. You came! Thank you so much. And also, don't worry about the seats. You can stay as you are. I'll have you two standing while you watch the wedding for today. <laughs> Ha ha, very funny. Wait, are you serious? Why wouldn't you prepare seats for us? You should be able to figure out the answer to that question on your own. I thought today was our day to make up for past disagreements. Make up? Why would I bother to make up with an idiot who couldn't even go to college? You? Do you hear yourself? But... But you said that you felt bad about the things you did to me up until today. You went out of your way to apologize to me. You're a different person now, aren't you? Don't you want to make up with me? As you could probably have guessed by now, that was a lie to get you two to come to my wedding today. Duh. <laughs> How could you say that? I've hated you up until now and I'm going to hate you for as long as I live. And I could never pair seats for you because I hate you. Got it? You two idiots can stay standing. I don't get it. If you hate us so much, then you shouldn't have invited us. Why would you lie about feeling bad for the things that you've done and that you're trying to make up for everything? It doesn't make sense. It makes complete sense. I wanted to make the two of you feel the way you made me feel on that day. What day? How does it feel standing up while everyone else is sitting down comfortably? Doesn't it make you feel embarrassed and vulnerable? That's the way I've always felt since elementary school. What do you mean? Because no matter what our parents made us do, you were always the one who would get complimented. You were good at everything. But the teachers would always make me stand up and scold me in front of the whole class. They would yell at me for not being able to do things that my own sister could pull off easily. Just because I was born to be your sister. I've always hated you never since. You're the reason my life has been so miserable. How is that my fault? That's why I've always focused on my studies. Because it was the only thing I could surpass you in. Not the piano not sports, but schoolwork, and I finally beat you. I graduated from one of the most prestigious universities in the country, while you graduated from a public high school 
and never made it to university. I beat you for the first time in my life, but I didn't stop there. So, I've been plotting this day ever since. And it's finally here! How do you feel? You really did all of this for that pathetic reason? Say whatever you want. I invited all of my friends from college today. Therefore, everyone here has at least a bachelor's degree. Everyone other than you two high school graduates. And those two are the only ones who are standing up with nowhere to sit. Because you don't belong here. Isn't it hilarious? You're so pathetic. Making what should have been the happiest day of your life into a game for some stupid revenge? I've done nothing wrong anyways. And my husband is the real victim. He has nothing to do with our personal business. Shut up! I hate you, but I hate that man too. I hate your husband for marrying the person I hate. Every single person in this room is a college graduate or above, and therefore, you two are the dumbest people here. What's wrong with making a fool out of those fools? How dare you? You two peasants just stay standing for the rest of the wedding. It really compliments the dumb look on your face. Whatever. We're going home. <laughs> is someone mad? If you're so angry, then why don't you graduate from college? Maybe I'll prepare a chair for you after that. <laughs> oh wait, but given how dumb you are, I guess there's no use. Never mind. You'd never be able to pay for it anyway. <laughs> Unlike me and my husband, I assume that you and your husband are barely paying your bills for that business of yours, huh? You're not going to keep that smile for long, sis. And I won't be listening to any apologies later on. <laughs> what? This is the last time you'll ever be hearing from us again. The two of us who don't even deserve chairs will be going home now. But remember that I will never forgive you for going out of your way and lying just to make us feel terribly. I've been holding it in for so long. But I won't hold back anymore. I will make you regret this. Go home if you're going to go home, you peasant. Helena, what did you do to my husband's company? Oh, hey, Clara. What do you mean? What did I do? My husband just called in crying that his boss is furious at him because one of the company's clients called him out. And now the deal that he was working on was completely canceled. He's panicking that every single job that he's working on right now is falling apart in relation to this. Oh my, what a pity. He's supposed to be managing the opening of a new location right now. And that client was taking care of the interior of that particular location that was being built. But since the client is mad at him, everything is falling apart. The tables and seats, everything else that was supposed to arrive aren't coming anymore. And now he says that they won't make it to the open date anymore or if they'll even get to open the store altogether. Wow, he was given the privilege of managing a newly opened location, but he couldn't even pull off opening it? That's a huge blow to his career, huh? I'm sure his boss is very, very angry at him now. Quit the dumb back. I know you know something about this. Apparently, the client is actually you and your husband's company, right? How is this possible? Why is your dumb little company like yours clients with the company my husband works at? This makes no sense. My husband works at a pretty big place. I mean, how am I supposed to answer that question? It seems to me that you already know everything I could explain to you right now. Oh, and the reason our company is a client of your husband's company is because our business is going very well and we're popular. That's why. When did you two grow your company to the scale? I don't know. But apparently, a furniture store specified in importing vintage pieces was a business scheme that everyone had been overlooking. And we caught it. It's true that our company is still pretty small, but me and my husband have a great eye when it comes to choosing pieces. Our clients range from small restaurants to corporate level companies. What? Yeah, I mean, not that I would ever expect you to be interested in a business run by two high school graduates. 
But I guess no matter what level of education, it all comes down to passion and hard work. We learn French, German, Chinese, and Japanese so that we could bargain with the sellers effectively. And now we have clients all over the world who offer us the best prices. When did all of this happen? Out of all people? You are able to speak that many languages? Yes, me out of all people, considering you two are on such a high horse. I contacted your headquarters. You probably don't need furniture from peasants to make the business work, right? This has to be a joke. How could so many coincidences happen at once? I didn't know your company was so popular. And I didn't know you and my husband were clients. This isn't fair. You didn't tell me all of this before I did what I did. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. I figured that your husband probably wouldn't have recognized us just by seeing our faces. Since you decided not to invite us to any of the family gatherings, and you wouldn't expect to see a client at your wedding, right? On the other hand, my husband and I knew from the beginning because mom showed us pictures of your husband on the day after sealing the deal. How dare you do all of this to us just because we didn't prepare your seats for our wedding? You're trying to ruin our lives for that? And if you're going to take revenge, then don't bring my husband into this. Aw, so heartwarming to see a wife caring for her husband. But I hate you, and I hate your husband for marrying the person I hate. So, so what? The exact same lines that you said to me at the wedding. You hate my husband, right? And you invited him with me to the wedding and made him go through the same embarrassing experience, didn't you? So I did the same thing to you. This is not the same thing. Apart from marrying you, he also made a huge mistake when he decided to make fun of me and my husband with you for not having a college education. This is personal. So what's wrong with taking revenge on him too? But you're going too far. This has an effect on his work, on his whole career. Please, just don't bring my husband into this anymore. I won't do anything to you guys. Just please finish the deal with him as his client. I'm begging you. Or else, we don't know what the company might do to him. I thought I warned you that I wouldn't be accepting any apologies after leaving that wedding. Please. Therefore, I won't be sending anything to your husband. Good luck with life from now on. My husband and I are very busy making deals with big companies right now. Haha. <laughs> I can't believe you. My husband just got fired. Are you happy now? Does this really make you happy? Because since you two decided to not send any of the furniture, the opening date was set back multiple times and his boss caught him. Yes, we received a very sincere, long letter of apology by the headquarters of his company. That they were very sorry for the unethical actions taken by their employee. The apologies and requests were starting to get annoying, so we ended up sending the furniture in the end actually. But I guess that still wasn't enough to save him from being fired, huh? I won't forgive you two for this. And neither will my husband. His furious that you two uneducated small business owners got in his way. Oh no. Please don't. It's too late for apologies now. We'll write every single detail about your horrible products and how harmful they were to us. And that everything in that store is ugly. In fact, I've already left several one-star reviews on the store. Ha! <laughs> I see. So the reviews that have been posted lately were all written by you and your husband, huh? Well, I guess we have our proof then. I'll be using screenshots from this conversation as evidence to sue you. What kind of crime should I sue you for? What? Just know that I'll be taking all measures necessary to sue you completely. We will not be accepting any apologies for this incident either. As the owner of this company, I will not be tolerating any of these illegal attacks on our business. Owner of the business, Mr. Charles? Yes. I'll be talking with you from here on as the owner. If you have any complaints about our current decision, please be sure to contact us through a lawyer. What do you mean you're going to sue us? You have got to be joking about this lawyer thing. You should know that we can't afford that right now. And stay out of this. This is between me and my sister. Do you think you can just assault me like this? I'm your wife's sister. I thought you two weren't sisters anymore. Helena told me on the day of your wedding that she will be taking legal procedures to cut all relations with you. Therefore, you two are strangers, and all you are to me is an enemy who attacked our business. Therefore, I will be seeing you in court. What? I'll tell you this beforehand. 
We are not looking for an unofficial settlement. I will make you a criminal, and I will leave a mark on your record. Please know that. A mark on my record? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down here. Don't mean you're going to call the cops on me, do you? That's exactly what I mean. If you get a criminal record, then maybe you'll finally learn. I personally think that no matter what the reason, it's fine to hate whatever you hate. Even if you hate Helena for being able to do everything other than schoolwork better than you think, that's only natural, and I think it's okay. But you should know that just because you hate someone, that doesn't mean you're allowed to do anything to them. So. I'll help you learn that lesson. Wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? Very, very serious. It becomes very difficult to go back to carrying a normal life once you have a criminal record. Employers won't hire you, and you won't have as much trust in society. So face that reality and take in what you've done to us. You can't just do this to us, leaving the two of us unemployed right after we got married. I mean. We can't just forgive you anymore. So you had your chance to be forgiven for everything you've done to us, but you decided to throw it all away and put yourself in this situation. I'm a nice guy myself, but what you did at the wedding just wasn't right. Please, I'm begging you. You're not being yourself, Mr. Charles. You're not like this. You're always smiling. And you're always nice. Well, now you know that it's a serious situation when a truly nice person becomes mad. I'll let everything slide up until that wedding. But what happened there was terrible of you, unforgivable. You should have seen the look on my wife's face when she found out that there were no seats for us, and you never meant anything you said prior to that. I won't forgive anyone who made my wife that heartbroken. No, I didn't mean it. Please make sure not to contact me or my wife ever again. If you ever have anything to say, then contact us through a lawyer. My wife and I will be going now. Good luck with life. After that, it took quite a bit of time, but my husband and I finally emerged victorious in court. The outcome. Well, we managed to secure a criminal record for my sister and her husband. It turns out my sister had tried calling on our relatives, playing the victim card. But let me tell you, everyone knew the truth about what she did to me at the wedding. So, needless to say, nobody came to their rescue or helped them recover from their loss in court. It's a tough break for them, really. And to add insult to the injury, having that criminal record made it incredibly difficult for them to find new jobs and opportunities. I even heard that they had the audacity to yell at an employer for not hiring them, despite having college degrees. Talk about entitlement, right? It's like they expected the whole world to just hand them a job on a silver platter, but life doesn't work that way. On the flip side, my husband and I have been putting our noses to the grindstone. We're hustling every single day, working hard to make our dreams a reality. And you know what? It's paying off. We've been landing more and more jobs. And things are looking up for us. In fact, we're even considering expanding our business and opening new stores. It's exciting to think about the possibilities and the growth that lies ahead. We're not ones to rest on our laurels. We know that success comes with perseverance and dedication. So we'll keep pushing forward, seizing every opportunity that comes our way. And who knows? Maybe someday we'll look back at this chapter of our lives and see it as the turning point—the moment when everything changed for the better.